2020 is a busy year for Windows-based gaming handheld. GPT released their new device, GPT Max, to the market. One Netbook enters this market with One GX. Smart Team Smart G will be released in this year if there is no further delay. And Alienware shows their concept device, UFO. They didn't decide make it as real product or not, but it seems they want to do. Now, we have new challenger. This is Aya Handheld, brand new Windows-based gaming handheld enters the competition. It was originally revealed in mid-April as showing their engineering prototype. In May, they uploaded this concept design review video on YouTube. Also, they start to communicate with people on Discord at Aya Handheld Concept Channel in GPT device server. They communicate to people frequently to make a good image. As newcomer to market, it's a good move. So, how does it look like? We could see its overall shape in this video. Also, there are several photos they upload on Discord. But it will be changed. It's not a final design. There is a username Alex Carlso in Discord's Aya Handheld Concept Channel. He charges communicate with people. When one user asks location of shoulder button, Alex Carlso responses it will be changed a lot in next model. So, I think it's a bit useless to discussing Aya's design at this stage. But one thing will be not changed. Aya will be Windows Gaming Handheld, consists with tablet pitch part and two separate game controller. That's right. Aya will have a similar structure like Nintendo Switch. One Netbook's gaming UM PC, One GX also uses detachable controller, but its center part is traditional notebook. In case of Aya, it's tablet PC. Appearance of Aya will be changed. This means we'd better concentrate to its spec at this time. They release a bunch of information about its spec on their concept design review video and Discord. We could use this information to examine Aya's spec. Before it starts, don't forget Aya is still under development. Details could be changed anytime. Aya will use AMD Ryzen 5 45U with 16GB of LPDDR4 4266 RAM. That's right, another AMD based Windows gaming handheld appears on market. Actually, Aya means AMD, yes, anywhere. It doesn't have a dedicated GPU. It uses RX Vega 6 graphics integrated GPU. So, how's the its gaming performance? I usually use notebook check nest information to show mobile GPU's performance, but sadly, they only have two gaming benchmark data for this GPU. So, I watch many 4500U videos on YouTube instead. Fortunately, I could find many gameplay test videos at there. After watching many of those videos, I got the answer. 4500U is able to handle modern games with 720p or below around 25 to 40 FPS. Of course, it's different with each game. Some modern games could run in 40 to 50 FPS. But for demanding games, 720p and below with 25 to 40 FPS will be what could you expect it to this. It's not a bad performance as gaming handled. They say storage is provided by M.2 2280 NVMe SSD. It seems they consider to use 512GB as default size. Also, they consider to put micro SD slot on their device. Display is 7 inch 1280 by 800 resolution screen. Display supports touch input. It seems low, but consider its graphic performance is fine. High resolution screen that integrated GPU can handle is usually useless. It just increases power consumption and blurry screen due to resolution scaling. So, putting the 1280 by 800 screen on Aya seems good choice. Of course, high resolution screen is good for work. But Aya's design seems focusing to handheld gaming. So, I think we don't need to consider performance as workstation. As I mentioned earlier, Game controller is detachable. There is no mention about why they design like this, but I have one theory. Aya will have its own dock. That's right. Aya will have dock filled with Aya post and extra fan for increase its TDP. If Aya's game controller is detachable, we just connect tablet pitch to dock and play the game with its controller. I think that's the reason why they decide to use detachable game controller.
based on their concept design video, game controller supports rumble function. There are LED lights under the game controller. Alex Carso mentions interesting facts about Aya's game controller. He says, user could swap D-pad and buttons. It's interesting decision. IO ports on tablet pitch part will be like this. Two USB-C, one USB-A, 3.5mm headphone jack, and micro SD slot. If you are not happy with those ports, there will be dock for Aya filled with ports. They plan to put display port, HDMI, USB Type-A, USB Type-C, and RJ45 on their dock. Also, it will have a separate cooling fan on it. Help with this, User could increase IA's TDP board to maximize its performance. There will be Bluetooth keyboard for IA too. How about its wireless connection capability? Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 supported. In case of battery, it's 47 watt hour. You can charge it by one of the USB-C ports on device. It will support 65 watt PD charge to fill up its battery. Weight of IA will be 500 gram in center tablet piece part and 150 gram for game controller based on their plan. So, total 650 gram is their target weight. In case of price, they try to targeting on the 4,000 yuan. They mentioned several price in US dollar, but seems not decided foreign price yet. They try to release Aya in this year. There will be Indigo campaign for who live outside of China. That's the old thing we know about Aya's spec. Let's see this as one chart. It will be a new choice for who wants traditional handheld style device. So, when you saw working Aya with final design. Currently, they plan to show their device on China's E3, China Joy. If everything will be goes as their plan, we could see actual working Aya at there. After the China Joy ends, they plan to send device to YouTubers. So, around August, we could see many Aya videos made by YouTubers. There are a bit of information on what they are doing right now. They currently finished their second version of structural design. Second version of PCB is close to finish, but they will not release photos to public. But they could release photos of their first PCB to public. Also, they try to complete second version of appearance design within few weeks. So we could get more information about Aya soon. That's the old thing I prefer for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and click the bell to get the newest gaming UMPC information. Also, consider to support me on Patreon to sustain this channel. Have a nice day and see you later.